hot again.
You like all this water, don't you? Want me to leave it here? Hi everybody, welcome back to the cabin. I hope this uh, boiling syrup isn't interfering with the sound on the camera, but better than wind, I think. That's why I'm kind of staying in this little sheltered spot. Uh, not a very interesting week, I would say, for video, but um, I thought I'd better share it with you anyway what I did this week so that uh, you're not wondering where I am again, and just to maybe keep tabs on my progress. I have a lot of exciting things uh, that I'm about to do, but it takes a lot of prep work to get them to the place that I can get started at the actual, you know, actually building. So I spent uh, basically, what, six full days straight, sun up to sundown, boiling, but also clearing the bush, clearing around the uh, workshop. As you can see, and I'm still not done clearing, got a couple more beech trees to take down, which they, can, they take at least like a full day basically to cut down and clean up. So I'm yeah, six days straight of boiling, collecting sap, which is exhausting. 90, 90 um, pills on the trees, 90 trees tap. And each of these um, one or two to three gallon pails that are on the trees, yesterday they were actually full to the top and I would dump them into the five gallon pails. So I'd be carrying two 50 pound five gallon pails through the bush, kind of stepping and stumbling all over the place. but from uh, 90 trees in some case it was only two trees that would fill a bucket so I'm not sure what I ended up boiling I think um, when I finish uh, uh, reducing this to the final thickness I think I'm gonna end up with four or five gallons of, of syrup and the season's not done yet it's supposed to get you know, pretty cold and I think starting when tomorrow the following day cold being relative but below freezing during the day so it'll stop the uh, sap from flowing. I'm not sure, I've never done, uh, made maple syrup this long in a season. So beyond like where we get a warm spell, a freeze and then starts up again. I'm not sure if it's gonna be flowing at that point or if it's just gonna be really, you know, thick and unpleasant tasting, like darker. So I'm not sure, I'm gonna give it a try and, and see. I'm leaving the buckets on until they stop flowing essentially or that we get sustained temperatures above freezing, including at night. So yeah, it's a lot of work. It's exhausting, but um, I enjoy it. It's a great way to spend full days outside this time of year. And you'll see that I'm actually wearing shorts, which I don't think I've ever worn shorts on camera. Just spending a lot more time uh, paying attention to the natural cycles and our natural ancestral way of living, including diet, uh, more sunlight, uh, making sure that I am outside from sun up to sundown, uh, grounding, walking barefoot, I'm exposing more of my skin, more of my body to, to natural sunlight. Getting out when it's freezing cold in the morning, dressed like this or without a shirt and without uh, uh, footwear. And just kind of shocking my body a little bit, but just making sure I stay stay used to the elements. Um, spending time in the south was nice and it, like I really liked it. really liked being able to get all that sun and, and warm weather and to not be wearing much. But... Um, got me away from what I would be doing normally at this time of year which is freezing or especially in uh, January and February so anyway it's been a busy busy week for me a lot of work but not much to film um, I wasn't even rolling camera most of the time didn't film any meals um, prep or, or anything like that so yeah short short video not very interesting but um, I think the prep work for the future projects is going to make those videos more interesting instead of having to watch me do this again. Although I do have a few more days to clean up that site and then get started on my next project. It'll I'll be started for sure next week. Uh, yeah, easily next week. I might have to do some milling of lumber, but I've also got a lot more natural form materials, like pole type uh, materials 
I mean, with curves and stuff in it too. And I'm pulling a lot of those rocks out and going to be using those for, for a few of the projects that I'm working on this year. So I'm really looking forward to what I'm about to do. And uh, being second week of March, I've got lots of time. The beauty of it and why I've been focused on doing that, first of all, it's nice to be able to do that in tandem, do that kind of clearing work and prep work while I'm boiling sap, boiling syrup. But um, this weather is crazy. I've never, don't think, boiled uh, made maple syrup when there's like virtually no snow on the ground. So that's uh, that's nice. Nice to be able to walk around. And the other thing I will do this week, while I'm collecting, maybe even as I'm like taking the buckets off the tree, is to off the trees, is to clear paths. So I have like a circuit of pathways cleared to each of the trees so that when there is snow on like down branches and logs and stuff I'm not tripping over that uh, yeah and little saplings and stuff that are in the way so I'm carrying the buckets I'm not uh, spilling stuff spilling sap so a lot to do still then I've got a trip big trip plan with the uh, my buddies not a big trip but a six day canoe fishing trip in the uh, beginning of May Got another trip uh, somewhere um, within Canada in probably June. Um, so between now and then, I need to get a lot of work done here. So yeah, busy. Anyway, I uh, just thought I would share that with you, just so you know, just so you know, I'm not uh, just missing again that I haven't updated you. I do put the odd thing up on the other channel and then Patreon. I try to post daily or as I get time to edit. As often as I can, I put uh, more uh, more daily edi edits and uh, updates on the, on there. Anyway, this is reducing. I'm keeping a close eye on this because that letting that fire die down. And I'm going to be thickening that in that big pan, which is a challenge. Instead of putting it in a smaller one and finishing it off, so I'm just keeping an eye so that it doesn't suddenly boil to the point where it starts burning. <laughs> Got a time that's just right. So I'm gonna shut this off. It's gonna be dark in an hour. Gotta make sure I get this finished off and then uh, put everything away before the rain and the snow comes back over the next few days. So that's it, thanks for watching, appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you back here at the cabin next time. Take care.